Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working with an Asus ROG Strix G531 laptop. I'm going to show you how to open it up and gain access to your battery and your CMOS battery. Okay, first thing you want to do is shut it down, make sure it's powered off, unplug your charger, and then we're going to flip it over and we're going to take out all the screws uh, to the bottom case so we can get it off. There's quite a lot of screws in this computer. You see all four up along the top of your screen there. You got four along the bottom and then three towards the middle. These are the screws you want to take out to remove this bottom case. After you remove that bottom case, you take a small plastic pry tool, a hard plastic like a, a guitar pick, and when you're going to go across the outer edge of this computer and slowly pry apart the bottom case from the palm rest. Side note, if you guys need any help with any of those tools, those, those uh, pry tools or screwdrivers, also, um, I recommend placing your computer on an anti-static mat while you're working on it. If not that, then at least an anti-static bracelet, but something to help you avoid damaging your computer when you get inside of it. If you need any help with any tools or supplies like that, I'll have a link up top. I'll put the link below in the description to my Amazon store. You can see some of the tools and supplies that I use in, in my shop. After you get that bottom case off, guys, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. The battery will have a screw here, uh, three down bottom, and then there's this little piece of tape that's connecting the speaker wire uh, to the battery. Not sure why that's there, but uh, you need to remove all four screws. You need to undo that tape, and, and then you have this plug right here. Uh, this plug in the battery, the wires come out here and they go into this plug and it plugs into the port on the motherboard. The way this is designed, it's, it's not like other batteries. Uh, you would take your small plastic pry tool and this top section right there, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a top skinny section there. You would take a small plastic pry tool and you would put it on this and just slide it this way up, up towards the fan, slide it towards the fan away from the plug, and then this will just pop up. So that's a kind of a weird little uh, battery connector there, but that's how you would unplug that and then you would get your battery out here. Okay, so while you guys are working on that, getting the bottom case off and the battery up, I'll give you a quick pitch to my affiliate partner, a great place to get games, Humble Bundle. At Humble, guys, you can get the latest games at great prices. They also have great ways to save when you're buying. You can bundle your games together in a purchase instead of buying them one at a time. You can also join Humble Choice, which is a monthly subscription service that gets you free games every month. And you can also feel good about your purchases because Humble has donated a ton of money to charity. And every time you pay your Humble Choice membership, every time you use my link, charity gets more. So it's a great website, guys. Great place to get games. Check it out with the link above. I'll also have the link below in my description. Okay, as a side note, this is what the battery looked like in this computer. Yours may be a little different, but it's an 11.4 volt, 48 watt hour. And if you're looking for a brand name replacement, this is what you're looking for. This, this model number here, B31N1726. I'll have this information below in the description as well. That's how you'd find a replacement for this brand name. Okay, now with the battery out, we can work on other things in the computer. The only other thing I was going to show you in this video was the other battery. Uh, the motherboard battery right here. This is your CMOS battery. Sometimes in other computers, guys, you may have seen it looks like a, a, a watch battery that's sort of plugged into the motherboard. This is the other way that, that it can usually look. It's usually wrapped in black electrical tape and it's got wires coming out of it and that plugs into the motherboard. Unfortunately, with the placement of this, you could probably unplug it from the motherboard, but to plug it back in, you'd need to um, take the motherboard up to access the other side. So it's a little pain in the butt to get to, but if you guys needed to get to that for any BIOS reasons, um, that's where the CMOS battery is. It unplugs this way, you just pull straight left, and then it's held on by double-sided tape. So after you get this piece of black tape off of it, you can rip that up fairly easily. It's just double-sided tape. So I hope that this was helpful getting at those two batteries, showed you how to get into it, where all the screws were. Um, if you have any questions, guys, check out my FAQs below in the description. If you don't see your question there, leave me a comment. I try to get back to those as often as possible. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.